Hello, hello, it's Brie, it's me, hello, hi, hi, hi. I'm back with another video. Wow, we, it has been a week of stress. I have tried to film this video so many times, but this is the last time. So what you see is what you're going to get. And I hope that you enjoy. Uh, if you're new here, please subscribe, please like, comment, all the good things because just because <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. This week's video is going to be a video about sensory toys. Full disclosure, I don't know what I'm talking about really. I'm still learning, but we can learn together. So I can bring you the bits I know. Maybe you can let me know the bits that you know and we can grow more for it. Be better for it. Let me see. Hello. Would you like to say hello? This is my biggest sensory toy. She's so beautiful. Little Pete's. Now I'm covered in hair. Bessie, please stay away from there. Please stay away from there. What was I talking about? The reason I wanted to do this video was because I have done one before and it was a long time ago and I still didn't really understand much about it. Uh, about the sensory toys and why we use them. Sensory toys, sensory tools, sensory something. I don't know, but I'm making a new one because I think I have a bit better of an understanding of why it's useful for me and why other people find it useful and how everybody's preferences, sensory seeking, sensory avoidant behaviors are different and why there's like no wrong and right and like the uh, different I, I as I've said previously I speak and then I forget what I've said so if I repeat myself I apologize not really I'm not really sorry it's just I can't help it but yeah obviously over like the last maybe 10 years like sensory items and toys and products and things have just really popped off and for good reason i can still vividly remember the first time that my now psychologist came in to see me i was in a part of the hospital where you just like kept a little bit closer eye on eye on closer eye on you had a you have a closer eye on you just because you're having a hard time and she came in with like this box of goodies and she like placed a, like an ice pack in front of me and I threw it back at her because I don't like wet cold things but the purpose of the wet cold thing was to ground me and bring me back to the present and I have learned that that is essential and important but I hated it at the time. I've, I've come a long way with the use of ice packs. They are actually for me very very helpful and I will talk about why that is. So my understanding for sensory items, obviously they're extremely helpful for people that have autism or ADHD, also people that have PTSD or complex PTSD and like other mental health issues like anxiety and depression and the list goes on. There is like no limit to the list of individuals that sensory items are helpful for. We all have sensory preferences and sensory needs and it's just about figuring out what's right for us and you don't necessarily have to be neurodivergent or something to want to use a sensory item. So I'm not like an OT or anything like that so I'm just going to give my very layman's understanding of my sensory preferences and whatever that may not work for you but it works for me and it's taken a very long time and a lot of help from like my psychologist and actually an OT to kind of figure out what works best for me. Sorry, I'm just watching Nessie eat in a very precarious part of my house that I wish that she wasn't in. Nessie, what are you doing up there? So obviously we have the five senses, which is, <laughs> watch me not even be able to remember that simple thing, uh, sight, 
sound or hearing, um, touch, taste, and smell. And then there's two others that I learned about. I think proprioception and interception. So I pulled up the definition of proprioception and introception on Google. It says proprioception in brackets, body awareness and position in space around us and vestibular awareness, our movement balance and coordination. And then interception, our internal sensory systems that tell us what is happening inside our body, hunger, needing the toilet, fatigue, emotions. It blew my mind when I learned about these two things uh, just because they have are definitely ones that impact me a lot, both from a like neurodivergent side of things and then also a complex PTSD side of things. It's really complicated and the waters are murky when those two things overlap and someone is dealing with both but um, I won't get into that a lot today but yeah I just am going to talk about some of my toys that toys <laughs> I, I don't know why I giggle every time it's so funny so anyway we're going to start with some of my stimulating ones ones that help with anxiety and help with when I'm feeling like agitated or on edge or just need to, I don't know. I, you'll see when, when I use them, but I do want to say that some people will, some people don't like the ones that I like and some people also use them for different purposes. I know that some um, items that I use often people will use to actually calm themselves down or ground themselves. And it's like just so interesting how everyone is so different so first we have this one uh this is just a little hand rolly one uh much enjoyment <laughs> excuse the uh nail situation i love these ones apparently they come like with different weights i just like the light 100 gram one just because it's easy for my hands to do the thing but i imagine that other people like different it just is easy for my hand to do the rolly thing. I don't even know. It's not a lot of effort. I'm lazy. What can I say? <laughs> they definitely come in different colors. Any ones that I have, I'll try to like link in the description just because I've got to share the goods, I suppose. Another one I have is this little ring thing. I have a bunch of these just lying around my house and in my bag and everything, but it's very spiky. Obviously it's a spiky ring. I have a lot of fun with this one. You know the whole like when you go for a massage, I don't really know when people say it hurts so good. I find this is like that. It hurts so good that it's like helpful and stimulating, but actually also grounding. But I don't use this for uh, grounding and bringing myself back to the present and all of that because I have other tools that help me with that. This like little, I think it's called a shishu cube. She sh I I'll, I'll also link this one in the description. All of this is not sponsored by the way. I just, these are the ones I have in my backyard on my coffee table. And I can't say I'm a huge fan of this one because I'm still getting the hang of it. And it is effort for my brain to figure it out. I don't know why. It's really not that hard, but it's hard for me, okay? It's like I have to concentrate on it, which when I'm like a passenger in a car or on the bus if you could get me on the bus it's just nice just the click clacky is nice too but yeah this is cool i like this but i'm still just not sure figuring it out uh here's a neato a neato cube i love this one it gets dirty fluffy things stick on it but it's not too bad compared to other ones that i've had that are squishy like this and Again, really helpful for just keeping my hands busy. It's a bit of a pink theme going on today with my my little sensory situations. I actually went to pink the other night and oh my gosh, oh my gosh, she was amazing. But yes, this one's good. I don't have to concentrate so much with this one. Yes, I don't know why the shishu cube is so hard for me to just you know, like, I feel like I'm playing a video game. That's how much my brain has to think when I'm doing this. 
can't even talk to you while I'm doing it. Favorite of mine, but I break them all of the time. I break them so often. It's called a Wooshy. They're from Kmart, but oh my gosh. It's just this, the sound and this, the, it looks so pretty. And I find these ones hold up a little bit better. I used to have pink ones, funnily enough, but those ones kept breaking. And I don't know if it's because, I don't know if it was because there was like an air bubble in it or what was going on, but. How good. Oh my God, this one makes me so happy. Okay, relax. Speaking of Kmart, I have this one. Uh, I was at uni one day and I was kind of like, tearing the skin off of my fingers and a girl leaned over and she was like do you want to borrow a sensory toy and she like handed me this 3d printed yellow click clacky i call it a click clacky because i don't know what uh, i called that one a click clacky but this one is a click clacky like capitals uh and i just sat there the whole time and i was like this also doesn't require me to think as hard i feel like this is like a step down from my brain cell having to think and then this one is like a step down from even further no maybe this one this one is a step down further uh, but you get the vibes anyway she was like i can get my friend to 3d print you one and i ended up finding this at kmart and i was like oh you were so amazing but i ended up finding one uh because she said it might have it was going to take a couple of weeks and i was like i need this but i was worried that it was like going to be too noisy when I was at uni. I, I said to her, oh, it's a bit noisy, I'm sorry. And she's like, it just sounds like you're typing. I don't know about that, but it's under the desk usually. I mean, it's one of, there, there are worse noises that people can make at uni, that's for sure. Another favorite of mine is this. I don't know what it's called. I know it's from Big W. They glow in the dark and they're fun. I don't know, ones I showed you, the Wooshy, the Neato Cube, Click Clacky Capitals, and Roller are currently my favorites. My friend gave me this little dinosaur and it's just nice to hold and to feel. This is actually 3, 3D printed. I don't know where she got it from, but it is super adorable and I love it. I think that's it for like stimulatory sensory items because I filmed this video already. I did like a little unboxing of this one I hadn't opened it. Might insert the reaction to me opening it. I might not, but I'll show you anyway. Oh! Oh my gosh. I don't even need to insert my reaction. This is, this is very cool. I feel like this is gonna be a new favorite, uh, but I just love doing this with my hands. I don't know why, but it just calms me so much. Moving from like stimulatory sensory items to like more calming, grounding, soothing uh, items. Um, I really love heat packs and they're so comforting. Since we're in the middle of summer in Australia and I just don't have any concept of like, am I hot or cold? I know it's hot, but I, Anyway, I decided to put my heat pack away to avoid like overheating myself. That's definitely a comfort for me. And usually like eight to nine months of the year, I carry that thing around just because it's nice to hold, get a bit warm. <laughs> and the other side of that is like ice packs. And I have realized that ice packs are actually very helpful for me to ground me and bring me back to the present if I'm really having a bad day or a bad time within the day. I think with sensory items it's so hard. I was one of those people that I don't know what I'm saying my brain is shutting down. On the topic of ice packs this is another thing that I use to help bring me back bring me back to the present. <laughs> it's just I think it's called Hi. <laughs> Chill out balm or calm balm. Mm. Uh, I think it's eucalyptus tea tree and peppermint and it's just very, it just is a, it, it's great. I can't even explain it. I don't have words very much today, but you get the vibe, you get the gist. Last thing that I have to show you is my noise cancelling headphones. These are God scent. Uh, God scent. Yes, God scent. Hope she's listening <laughs> so these are great for being in public places 
in it uh, if it's too loud. I use them at home a lot because I live in quite a busy unit complex and just a lot of drama happens here. So sometimes I just have to put my noise cancelling headphones in and listen to some music or listen to my favourite podcast just to drown out the nonsense. At night time, I can't wear these though. Sometimes I wear these handy dandy little things. A friend actually ordered me a an extra little mini, mini a piece and they still hurt my ears. I just find cheap like earplugs that are not, that are not like reusable. They're disposable, not reusable. They are disposable. I find those helpful too. In terms of moving these things around or keeping them safe, I often just keep them like in a little bag or in like the zipper of my bag. It's always good to have them close by so you can like access them when you need them. Something I struggled with for so many years was allowing myself to use items because I thought people were gonna judge me or something. And honestly, no one cares if you are using a fidget or a sensory item. If they do, then that's sad for them that they feel the need to judge. <laughs> it's also really helpful, I think, for me to have people that are close to you to remind you to use your sensory items. I have people in my life that often remind me to use my headphones, which I find really helpful. Also, like some people know that if I've been triggered by something or whatever, uh, to like get me an ice pack or get me a heat pack or to find a sensory item if I can't find it, especially if I'm dissociating or something like that. Items that I find really helpful to ground me when I'm dissociating are definitely this and an ice pack. I don't always um, personally like when those are necessary to use, but I've learned that it's safer than me hurting myself by accident because I've switched off or felt overstimulated or something. Uh, sensory items are not only amazing for anxiety and grounding and alerting and all of that, but they are like a safety tool for me I, there are times that I would not be safe if I didn't have access to my sensory items. I'm gonna also um, insert a picture or a little video of my uh, pod that I sit in. This is definitely, I think, a thing that like is a proprioception. Uh, it's just like a big bean bag, basically, but I'm very sensory seeking in that department. It's sort of like a weighted blanket, but the opposite, instead of something being on top of you, which is okay but i find that a bit suffocating sometimes only if my anxiety is so severe that i feel like i need to be crushed is a weighted blanket helpful uh but my pod is more like it's hugging me like from like around and that to me is like a big comfort i am someone that if i get a hug from someone i want you to like mm, always ask anyone before hugging them. Other things that I, I just kind of springing to my mind now, another thing that I really enjoy is like driving in the car and that sensation of like driving. I don't know what it is scientifically, uh, but the pressure of like my body in the chair and movement. I'm very prone to car sickness, but that's another separate irrelevant fact about me. I only really like when I'm driving, but it's okay to be a passenger too. I just need to make sure I look out the window. Things like that as well, similar, are like going on rides at a theme park or something are really fun for me and I enjoy, but I know other people don't enjoy it. So, and that's okay. If you have any questions about any of my sensory toys, please let me know. If you have any suggestions of toys that you enjoy using, also please comment them down below because I am always on the hunt for something new and fun to fidget with. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I always wanna try and like help people out and do the right thing, but also sometimes the information I have or the things that I like aren't helpful for other people and that's okay, we're all different and that's what makes us special and unique and awesome. If you liked this video, please give me a like, thumbs up, I think I, I always do like a little dance. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I put out new videos usually every Sunday, sometimes on a Monday because girly got a rest. I've got to get my sleepies in and usually that happens on the weekend. I think that's it. <gasps> I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.
Save your time.